Hi, happy Monday, and welcome to Now, the fun show hosted by me, Curtis P. Today we're kicking the entire show off talking about a pretty sweet, freaking amazing news topic of the day. It's all about Sim Camp. Now you're probably wondering, what is Sim Camp, Curtis? Like, are we supposed to know what that is? I don't know what that is, unless, of course, you've read other blogs on the internet, on Twitch, and you probably already know what it is. Well, Sim Camp is this awesome coming together of a bunch of Simmers and Sims developers and fans all together on August 20th to 23rd at Gamescom in Cologne, Germany. So now when I say the coming together of a bunch of different people around the world together, one of those peoples are me. Yes, that's right. So if you're heading to Cologne, Germany for Gamescom in like a couple of weeks, I will be there as well. It's gonna be freaking amazing. Of course, I'm not the only one. Let's not get completely self-centered here. Some other awesome, amazing people that are also going to be there include James from The Sim Supply, iPod Zeke, Shrill Sims 3, Rachy Bop, Platinum Simmers, Sim Cookie, and the always amazing Sims VIP. It's gonna be super amazing. I am so excited. You have no idea. Of course, there are a bunch of other people that I did not include in my short form list here. Of course, link down below to a big list that Sims VIP put up and it's like awesome and it's got everyone listed in the countries. So yeah, of course, going to be freaking sweet. If you're going to Gamescom, try to find me. I will be tweeting and like Facebooking and all that other fun stuff. Also, if you see me, this is the number one or two rules to like meet me in person. Number one, please do not approach me like quietly from behind because if you do, I will probably A, flip around and hit you in the face or B, be scared shitless. So the way, of course, to avoid that, yell and scream at me. You have my permission. So if you see me, yell, scream, it will be easier for me to equate because I yell and scream as well. So yeah, that is the rules. Just one rule. I guess that was just like one rule, but maybe you're not, whatever. Rules to meeting me in person. Yell and scream at me. I will yell and scream back. It will be a beautiful connection. Next up from The Sims 2 Sim City, it looks like finally, SimCity will be coming to the Mac. Yes, after its many delays, SimCity will be coming to the Mac on August 29th. That is, of course, five months after it debuted on the PC. Which is unfortunately depressing, though hopefully it's like nice and clean and non-buggy. But from the way that SimCity kind of keeps going, I, I don't think that's going to happen. Now OnePlus, of course, if you downloaded and bought the game for the PC, you can also like download and play it on the Mac completely free, which is awesome. So it's like a one-time purchase in two different places. And just to throw this in here as one last thing, crazy arms all over the place. It appears that you still do need an internet connection to play this game, which is slightly depressing because it's been proven in the past that you don't actually need the servers to play. It will work without them. Moving along from gaming type news to big sciency type news. That burger that I talked about a month ago that was grown in a Petri dish, yeah, it got its first taste test today. Yes, that $332,000 burger patty finally got like some tasting done on it. Josh Seanwald, the author of The Taste of Tomorrow, and food scientist Hanny Rutzler got to actually taste the burger for the first time. They said that it actually tastes close to meat, though not exactly similar. They expected it to be actually softer because of course it doesn't contain any fat, which wasn't actually the case. And the fact that it doesn't contain fat means that it's actually not as tasty as you would think. This is a huge breakthrough, of course, in food production because if you can produce food in a Petri dish like meat, then in the future, you won't even have to like raise animals. We can just make food and meat in the lab. That of course raises some other ethical questions towards that and how that will taste and all that other stuff. But of course, the number one thing here, PETA, well, they're on board. They've already stated that they are happy to see this because of course, other animals in the world don't have to die so that we can eat them. So if you're thinking, I wanna go and buy this right now in the supermarket, well, I'm sorry, this is actually like years away. Maybe in the year like 2020, you'll be able to go to the supermarket and be like, that right there, that genetically produced non-real meat. I wanna buy that. Okay, so with all the excitement surrounding Gamescom and Sim Camp, I want to know one main question here. Will I be seeing you at Gamescom in Germany? Let me know in the comment section down below. You can of course also let me know on the show's Facebook page, Twitter account, or through Google+. Links to all that and the other articles I talked about in today's episode in the description down below. Check out the description, tons of really cool stuff down there. Also, of course, if you enjoyed today's show, why not hit that like button, subscribe, and share the show with your friends. Until tomorrow, I'm Curtis Parody, and I'm back, everyone. I've been gone for like all over the frickin' place, but now I finally get to say it. 
because that's what's happening now.